It's now time to learn how to download the Kyocera Quick Installer and install the Windows driver for the MA4000 WIFX printer while connected via USB. Begin by plugging in a USB cable to the back of the printer. Plug the other end into the PC computer in the USB slot. Using a web browser, enter in the following URL, mykiacera.info. This will bring up the Kiacera Download Center. In the Refine the Product by Entering a Partial Product Name area, type in MA4000. Look for and click on the Ecosys MA4000 WIFX. The page for this printer will appear. Confirm the proper operating system. In this example, it is Windows 10 64-bit. Scroll down the page to Easy Installation. Click on the blue download arrow to the right of Web Installer, Windows only. A license agreement will appear. Scroll down the page and click on the Agree to Contract and Download button. If the browser attempts to block the download, click on the button in the upper right corner as shown. Then click on the Download Unverified File button in the same area. The Web Installer will be downloaded. Once the file has downloaded, Go to the download folder and find the file. In our example, we are looking at the browser download link area in the upper right corner of the screen. Click on this webinstaller.exe file. The web installer will begin. If a user account control screen pops up to verify the document, select yes. A license agreement will appear. Scroll down to read the agreement and click on agree. The Resource and Energy Saving window will appear. Click on OK. We will now see the Web Installer window. There are three options, Install, Uninstall, and Maintenance. Click on Install. The Web Installer will begin to look for devices. Locate and click on the Ecosys MA4000 WIFX option with the USB listed. Click on Next. The available components will begin to appear. We can decide here which components to install. In our example, we are using the default choices. KX driver is checked. Twain driver will automatically install. Scroll down and assure that Kyocera QuickScan is also checked. To learn how to use the QuickScan utility, be sure to watch the MA4000 WIFX using QuickScan video. Notice that status monitor and fonts will automatically install. Click on Install. The web installer will begin the installation process. Each component will show as pending, then downloading, then downloaded, then installing, and finally installed. This process may take a few minutes, so please be patient. During the process, the Kyocera QuickScan will give us the option to place shortcuts on the desktop. This utility allows the user to scan to PDF, scan to a folder on the computer, and even a scan to email option. If we choose to have these shortcuts, assure that they are checked and press on OK. Once all components are installed, select Next. We can now configure this printer. Here we see the Kyocera MA4000 WIFX for USB is listed. We can print a test page by clicking here. This printer can be our default printer by clicking that option. The printer is set at the factory to print on both sides of the page. If we decide to print on one side only, then this must be unchecked. When the configured printer page is completed, select Finish. We now have downloaded and installed the print driver, as well as printed a test page on the MA4000 WIFX via the USB cable.